The Calgary real estate market is experiencing some of the biggest growth that we have seen in over a decade. Now, if you're someone that not only wants to stay educated on the real estate market, but also capitalize on the Calgary real estate market, then keep watching because this is the video for you. My name is Riley Nichols, founder of the Bricks Real Estate Group, Calgary agents and realtors, and we have served thousands of families just like yourself, buy and sell real estate in Calgary and the surrounding area. Now, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we release valuable and educational content every single week. So if you're a buyer or a seller, you're always in the know, you know exactly what to expect, and you can make an informed decision. Now, if you have any questions or wanna connect with us directly, there is a link down in the video description and we would love to hear from you. Let's get into the video. Now, before we jump into the first part of the video, which is reviewing the market stats and what happened for last month, the month of March, I wanna advise you guys to stay till the very end of this video. The reason being is I'm actually gonna share you guys from a realtor's perspective exactly what is going on in one of the hottest product types in Calgary. So make sure you watch until the end because you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. So I'm gonna jump on my screen and the first thing we're gonna review is the sales. So we had 2,664 sales in the month of March and that is up 9.9% year over year and that's up 20.3% year to date. So we've seen a pretty significant uptick in those sales. Our total residential price is up to $597,600 and that's up 10.9% year over year. So as a total residential price, we've seen about a 10% increase. Our new listings are down 4.3% year over year. So those new listings have come down relative to this time last year, but not too significantly. But our actual new listings are up 6.2% year to date. So relative to last year, we have a slight uptick as a year to date, but month over month, we're down 4.3%. Now here's where some of the stats get interesting. Our detached price relative to last year is up 14% and we're hovering just under $740,000 for a detached home in Calgary. Still better than Vancouver and Toronto, but we're on an upward trend. Our semi-detached price is $658,000, and that is up 13.6% year over year, so we're seeing above 10% gains on all product types. This one is staggering. Our row price, these are our townhouses. They are up 20.4% year over year. So if you bought a townhouse this time last year in March for 400,000, there is a good chance that this year, right now, it's worth 480,000. That is almost a six figure gain on a 400K townhouse purchased 12 months ago. That's crazy. And our apartment price is sitting around 337,000 and that is up 17.1% year over year. We are seeing some significant gains in our apartment sector and it is finally recovering from 2013 and 2014. Now, two things to note if you're a buyer or a seller, our inventory is sitting at 2,532 and that is down 21.7% year over year. So 20% less inventory this year, prices are going up. It is a very challenging market out there for buyers. And our months of supply is down 28.5%. As a total rule of thumb for all of the Calgary real estate, we are sitting at 0.95 months of supply. That means that every house that hits the market is selling. Now there's another interesting data point that I wanna cover and that's the residential sales by price range relative from 2023 to 2024. Now if I jump on my screen right here, if you guys look at the price range from 400,000 to 500,000, the amount of sales that actually occurred in March are pretty much the same from last year to this year. If you look at 500,000 to 600,000, the sales are also pretty much the same from 2023 and 2024. The interesting stat to look at is from 600,000 to 700,000, we've seen a significant increase in sales this March relative to last March. Now again, one reason for that is obviously the prices of homes have actually gone up. So that is one of the reasons why those sales have increased. But if you actually look on the chart, an interesting stat is prices from 700,000 to 1 million have gone up very, very significantly from 2023 to 2024, almost 30 or 35%. So we're seeing some of those higher price point homes that are starting to get absorbed in the marketplace relative to last year. That means more money is moving into Calgary and Alberta as a whole, and some of those higher price product types are moving quicker. All right, guys, so the next thing that we're gonna cover today is the Bank of Canada interest rates. We obviously have a rate announcement happening on April 10th. 
So I wanted you guys to hear it from a true professional. I've got Joe Jacobs on the other line. He is the chair of Mortgage Professionals Canada, and he's also one of the managing partners of Mortgage Connection in Alberta. So Joe, what the hell is going on? Well, it's a bit of the same story here, Riley. You know, the Bank of Canada has held rates consist consistently here for quite a few of the announcements, and it's probably going to be the same thing April 10th. Um, you know, the data is still coming in that inflation heading in the right direction, but still not exactly where they want it. So there's still that wait and pause situation. So the good news is we likely won't see movement the wrong way, but I wouldn't be too excited to think that rates are coming down this April. Hopefully we start to see June data come in that supports the movement there. A lot of the major banks and the economists are thinking that is still on the table. Some that are pushing it as far as September. So it's still going to be a bit of a slow process before we see the Bank of Canada probably lower that rate, but it looks like it's coming on the near horizon here finally. Okay, so we're maybe anticipating that uh, rate reduction, I guess, is maybe a Q3 or a Q4 conversation right now. Yeah, I think we're still a little premature to think that it's coming in April. Um, you know, all signs are that they're just going to stand pat again, but hopefully we see it come early uh, early June or later into into September. Okay. And what, what can people expect right now as far as fixed rate mortgages or variable and uninsured versus insured? Are there some lenders that are offering any good incentives right now that are being more aggressive with rates? What can a buyer who might be looking to get into the market in Q2, uh, what can they expect right now? Yeah, so I would say kind of the happy medium place that a lot of buyers are going to right now is the three-year fixed. And that's because people think rates are hopefully going to continue to come down. So there's some fear of locking into a five-year and then being trapped there. And the variable is just not attractive and not be up for a lot of people because you're still paying such a premium and not knowing when and by how much rates are going to drop. So the good news is a lot of lenders are coming to the table with a little better price three-year money. A three-year is still going to cost you more than a five-year because we're in a weird environment where short-term money is more expensive, but that gap has narrowed. So um, you're seeing a lot more buyers going to that three-year, kind of that safe medium spot, um, and we're seeing a lot of specials in that in that place right now. Okay. And what, what does that look like on, say, a three-year fixed as far as rates go right now on, say, an insured versus an uninsured mortgage? You're still kind of at that 5% zone on okay. insured money and then slightly above that on uninsured. So kind of in that, you know, let's say just under 5 to you know 5.3 zone, depending on how much down you have. But that's a lot better than it was a few months ago where three-year money was closer to you know, five and a half to six percent. And so it's kind of pushing people into a five year fix who maybe didn't want to go there, but it just made sense because it was that much better of a price. So that's kind of where you're seeing most lenders now. Gotcha. Okay, man, I appreciate your time. We're going to get back to the video and we'll chat with you soon. Okay, thanks, Riley. Appreciate okay. the opportunity. So again, that was Joe Jacobs with Mortgage Connection. He is one of the best in the businesses for mortgages. And that was your quick update on what is going on in the lending world so that you guys know exactly what to expect. Obviously, as he mentioned, we are not likely going to see a rate decrease on that rate announcement on April 10th. But the economists are saying that we could be looking into Q3 or Q4 for a rate adjustment in the direction that we're looking for. Again, like we've talked about in previous points, if and when that does happen, it is going to create a lot of pressure on our market because it is going to open up that buyer pool for many people. They will have more purchasing power. They will continue to enter the market and that will continue to create upward pressure on pricing. Now, because you guys were so patient and you stuck around until the end, I wanna share with you guys one of the hottest product types in Calgary right now and what is going on with our townhouses. Like I said in our previous point, townhouses are up almost 20% year over year, and I wanna show you what's actually going on with townhouses in our market. Now I'm gonna jump on my screen and show you guys townhouses from 400,000 to 500,000 in the last 30 days and what they've been selling for. If you look at this one in Glamorgan, listed for 450, sold for 500K, five days on market, 50,000 over asking price. Another townhouse in New Brighton, one of our Southeast communities, listed for 444.9, sold for 499.700, 13 days on market, almost 50K over asking price. Killarney, listed for 469, sold for 499, six days on market. Another townhouse in Auburn Bay, listed for 455, sold for 499.500, eight days on market. 
Sundance, listed for $499,900, sold for $499,400, almost full list price, eight days on market. Another townhouse in Glenbrook, listed for $450, sold for $499. Another townhouse in Oak Ridge, listed for $439,900, sold for $495,700, nine days on market. Another one in Sandstone, listed for $489,900, sold for $495. Another one in New Brighton, listed for $489,000, sold for $495. So you can see what the trend is with these townhouse product types in this market right now. If you bought a townhouse in the last five years, you are probably sitting on a lot of equity that you might not even be aware of. These are being listed for 20% higher than what they purchased for last year. But because the market is so hot and supply is so low, some of these townhouses are selling for 10 to 12% above asking price. And this is by far the hottest product type in Calgary today. Now, as always, I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. That was our Calgary real estate market update for the month of April, 2024. We are going to be doing these videos every single month. So you are educated and know exactly what's going on. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we release new content on a weekly basis that is both valuable and educational for you as a buyer or a seller. And if you want to connect with us directly or have any questions about the real estate market, please feel free to connect with us using the link in the description below. My name is Riley Nichols, founder of the Bricks Real Estate Group, and we'll see you on the next one.